the Issa Flow Schoolboy Football Report is brought to you by This is how we flow Finish supply St. George's started out in their customary attacking manner and were rewarded early when Captain Chevon Stewart lashed home a sweetly timed effort on minute number 11. St. Jago were back on level terms seven minutes later courtesy of Ryan Smart. They went into the interval at 1-1 and upon resumption St. George's continued to attack as they went in search of the go-ahead goal. They were again rewarded when the prolific Alex Marshall struck home a free kick in the 59th minute. Stewart completed his double when he slipped through the St. Jago defense on minute number 67. But just when it seemed St. George's would run out comfortable winners, they were given a scare when St. Jago's Sean D. Thompson netted from a most acute angle 14 minutes from time to set up a nervous climax for either team. In the end, St. George's survived to stay on course for their 10th title. I mean, I couldn't ask some more from the two teams. I think St. Jago's College play, uh, 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 St. Jago um, played a well game. I mean, my guys took behind the ball and I know we, we, we were um, awesome up front today. I mean, Alex and um, Chevron was wonderful. But it was a team effort from my team. I think late on in, um, in the game, St. Jago's, St. Jago College pushed us, but we withstand it and, and we come up victorious. Congrats to the boys. Eh? In the opening semi-final, nothing spectacular happened between Jamaica College and Woolmers in a goalless regulation and extra time deadlock. And the dreaded penalty shootout had to be summoned. Two misses for JC, including one by Captain Orlando Brown, made life difficult for the Dark Blues. And it was left up to substitute Kobe Stibe to convert Woolmers' final kick and send them into the grand finale where they will be hunting their fifth title overall and their third hold in four seasons. You know, we have been having problems in scoring, so we decide that um, no matter what, we're going to take pride in, keep, in keeping a clean sheet. And uh, we have to, if we have to take it to the, to, to, to the 120 minutes, we, we have to. And, and that's, that's what happened. We have been practicing for penalties, um, and, and I'm really proud of the rest today. The final is set for Saturday, November 28th, if the schools are not in the Manning Cup decider, but could also be contested on Wednesday, December 2, if the two finalists are in the Manning Cup final.